Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the Immortal Realm channel and today we are going to take a look at the soul savior of humanity, the messiah herself, the Harvard graduate genius, this girl from the Netherlands. Now who is this woman you might ask yourself and what does she want to accomplish? Her name is Indy Melink, apologies if I just butchered that name completely and she discovered the key to ending all gender inequality around the globe entirely by herself. Doesn't that just sound absolutely fantastic? Such an astonishing feat to tackle. But how does she plan to reach her goal of stopping gender inequality? Did she actually put years of research into her dream and what genius idea did she end up coming up with? Well, I think you can probably see where this is going if you have noticed the title of this video because her revolutionary plan to remove all gender hierarchy is replacing the kings and queens in card games with gender neutral objects. Yeah, I bet women all around the globe applaud your great invention of genderless cards. You simultaneously accomplished full equality in every country as well as stopped men from ever objectifying any woman again. Therefore I shall award you the Montreal Nobel Prize for stopping gender hierarchy. Now to actually be serious for a minute, this woman really seems to believe that this is a necessary step that needs to be taken in order to stop gender inequality and I do believe there is so much that needs to be improved with modern gender roles. There is a lot that needs to be done because so many strong conservative idiotic voices still think women need to be housewives and that the man needs to work and women can't do this, women can't do that and these conservative values that are being outspoken by many idiotic politicians among others are traditions that we need to get rid of despite them being anchored in our cultures throughout history and I'm all for working towards equality. I'm anti-conservative as fuck. I mean I'm also not leftist but that's besides the point. But the point here is there are so many way more important issues than fucking card games. What about gender pay gap, the lack of women in positions of leadership, the objectification of women, women not having the same rights as men in a shit ton of countries and so much more. These are all the issues that need to take full priority if you really want to make an impact on gender inequality so this woman praising herself because she invented these fucking gender neutral cards yeah she's completely missing the point so let's look at some of her statements on her website and let's see if we can find out her reasoning behind her incredibly revolutionary card deck the 23 year old forensic psychology graduate encouraged by her father decided it was time to break with the centuries old tradition of sexual inequality in playing card decks that rank men above women Yes, you did it. You solved this massive problem card fans around the world experience every single day when they just wanted to play cards. Now obviously, first of all, it's just a traditional game. No one was trying to break down women by ranking them behind a man. And even more importantly, two incredible flaws I discovered with the statement by just looking at her cards and afterwards looking them up on Wikipedia are, firstly, the cards she's referring to are the French pseudo playing cards. Now, one of the most interesting aspects here is that the king is obviously worth more than the queen which led her to interpret the whole card game as sexist and showcasing gender equality right but one factor this self-proclaimed cards expert overlooks is that below the queen is the duke or boy or prince or whatever meaning that there's a man below a woman here now if you actually go the gender inequality promotion interpretation route which i wouldn't recommend because it makes zero sense but if you were to look at it that way it's still wrong regardless because the woman isn't even the furthest down which really makes me doubt that this woman is actually such a cards expert like she claims. And secondly, what's also rather funny is that back in the 19th century the game actually used to consist of three kings until they got rid of two of them so that it would have the king on top, then the queen and finally the duke or prince or whatever he's called. They obviously didn't swap them out to prevent equality or some shit but it's definitely not a sign of inequality either because the cards just represented the social hierarchy in most countries at that time since the vast majority of states in the 19th century were monarchies with a king as the ruler and their wife as the second most powerful person and finally the duke as the heir to the throne and all of this just goes overlooked by saying yeah they invented these card games to discriminate women. If we have this hierarchy that the king is worth more than the queen then this subtle inequality influences people in their daily life because it's just another way of saying hey you're less important she said in an interview. Now even if you completely ignore the historic context I provided to showcase how the whole inequality in card games argument is falling apart the whole thing would still 
still be just a game and nothing more than that. It has tradition, yeah, but at the end of the day, it's not some kind of political statement. It's just a game made for entertainment. Like, it would be similar to if someone said like, hey, why the fuck can the rock beat the scissor in rock, paper, scissors? That's discrimination. And it's just like, I don't know, because five centuries ago, some idiot just wanted to invent a game in order to pass the time or to entertain people or something. So it really doesn't define or showcase any gender inequality at all. It's simply a form of entertainment. Within a few months, she had sent out 1,500 packs, including to Belgium, Germany, France, and the United States. Game shops have also shown interest, she said. Jesus, mate, that's actually way more than I expected, to be perfectly honest. Like, it's not necessarily a bad card deck, you know. I mean, you can go and replace the cards with whatever you want, really. But the fact that they are branding this is like this huge step for equality and anti-sexism. That's the problem here, because if we're being real, this solves absolutely nothing for inequality, sexism, whatever. Not only are there, as a previous as he stated way way bigger and more important problems but she also just basically created a problem just in order to solve it and sell her card game i mean 1.5k sales you know i don't want to assume stuff about people without any proof but she has been making bank so far with this considering it has only been out for like two weeks or so so maybe this whole thing was just created out of money needs or something again there's just a possibility and i of course have no proof of that most likely the money was just a side accomplishment for the creator but it's an interesting way to look at it because there really was no talk about inequality cards before i think they themselves ironically showcase it best on their website by quoting their customers with Melink has been testing their cards out on players who said they had never been conscious of sexual inequality in decks before. I have never thought about it before, but it just makes sense. I'm bringing these faceless cards everywhere with me now. Seriously, everywhere? As if you just created the greatest revelation in all of human history. But the whole I never thought about it thing just goes to show nobody saw this as a form of suppressing women or gender equality until you came along and decided to pretend like, oh, it's this huge problem. The only way to solve it is by buying my card deck for 20 bucks guys like name me one fucking person that actually saw card games as a major problem for equality seriously i doubt you'll find anyone that even thought about that aspect and that's not even taking into account that barely anyone plays cards to begin with to be honest and then they say stuff like this our goal is for everyone to feel comfortable while playing cards and i'm just like who the fuck felt uncomfortable playing cards huh and then you see them priding themselves of their great accomplishments on their websites like oh playing with these cards is a great way to start a conversation about gender equality yeah a fucking conversation that you literally could hold about anything else anywhere else other than gender inequality in card games but the worst part the absolutely dumbest section of their whole ass website i decided to save for the very end now their actual slogan is the unique gender and race neutral playing card and this card pack was designed with the passion to fight for equality in gender as well as race so they actually added this because of this section right here the idea is to remove gender hierarchy and race differences from our card decks why should the king have a higher position than the queen why should the king queen and jack be white and this just confirms that the people that came up with this cannot be taken seriously i mean come on do you actually believe that you are not only fighting sexism with your cards but also racism as well racism was even less present in the whole conversation than sexism the 0.0001 percent of people that played cards thinking they were sexist probably didn't even think that they were racist I mean, why are they white? That sentence, why are they white? You know, in how many situations that could be used? Why are they white? 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 All right, so I hope you know that the race argument here is just completely ridiculous by now. So no, you are not preventing any sexism with your card game. No one would ever look at your card game and decide to change their entire outlook on sexism. You're also not accomplishing needed steps for gender equality with your card game and you are certainly not fighting racism with your card game. So you need to fucking stop promoting it in a way that makes it seem like you are this brave woman whose card game stands tall against all sexism and racism. You know, drop that out of your promotion and this whole thing would actually be fine with me because just releasing a new card game with different modes is actually not such a big deal but you are promoting your cards in a way that you just create problems out of nothing and I don't think that's the right way to go. 
Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed my videos, please make sure to drop a like. It really helps out the channel a lot. You definitely need to leave a subscription because I do want to reach one subscriber by the end of the year. And you know, I'm currently at zero subscribers. So maybe you can actually make a big difference here, you know? You might be able to help me reach my infinite goal of one subscriber. Alright, also follow me on Twitter at RealMortuVelen to not miss out on any updates and watch me argue with random people. And yeah, it's gonna be it with the video. Stay safe. Peace.